Hello everyone, I'm back with another video, and in today's video, we're gonna be up against General Ahmed at Yawara Lake. Now, well, I mean, I literally hate this map for all the various reasons that battle here takes too long, etc, etc, and uh, either each, I mean, either each player goes for super weapons, aviation, kills the super weapon, whoever makes the super weapon shot, wins the game or you can just rush early on with the navy that fails you can't go space track or nuke yeah kind of boring map to be honest so yes um subscribe if you're new smash the like button ring the bell icon to be notified of any content coming out of my channel without further ado let's go jump straight into it and here we go general ahmed it's actually a good guy to be honest with you he's a very good player all right, so um, I'm actually located at the top left-hand corner, or top right-hand corner, and General Ahmed will be at the bottom left-hand corner. Now, we start things off with a uh, boost right there to just decrease the uh, seconds, as you guys can see. Yep. Decrease the uh, upgrade time, and then went back to upgrading it, and then we got those riflemen out early, of course. And then, once that finished upgrading, I switched to common scouting boost, or gold scouting boost. And then, of course, we went for those Kaimans. Now, keep in mind that there's not really a ton of containers on the ocean on this map. So, I did not really go all ham on that. Instead, uh, you know, I relied on my Kaimans' ability of being fast to collect those containers. Now, I don't want to, you know, skip some chances here, so I'm going to have to add a power plant and a gun tower here at the start, so to avoid any Delta rushes. Okay, well, we actually got a lot of containers here for someone who's being late with the Kaimans, and a lot of containers on the land side of the map. Alright, so, spamming that Kaiman. Okay, however... The container is actually annoying, appearing right over there, which is a very, very big disadvantage for the resistance, as of course, the Delta can go on land, but the Kaiman can't. And I only have, you know, a fast infantry to get here, however, there's that Cerberus thing right there, which prevents me from getting it at all. Now, my Class 7 Wasp will not do anything at all against that. Alright, so I'm gonna have to retreat. Better micro my base up, or develop my base. Level 3 HQ now, level 2 vehicle factory, and adding 2 more supply centers. Now I'm gonna have to try and uh, obliterate that naval platform that's being built. He is also going HQ level 3 now. So I'm ahead when it comes to base development. He has level 2 shipyard, so I'm gonna have to try and be annoying. Place some minefields right there. And then just be literally annoying. Okay, there you go. Even though I was not able to destroy that shipyard, repairing it will require resources. So yeah, anything to slow him down. Okay, Salamander will obviously be used along with the Porcupine as I'm expecting him to go Seraphine. Alright now, and additional supply center as I am ahead, I do have the leisure of getting one more supply center to, you know, further my, well to further my um, advantage okay here we go positioning my alligator in the middle of the cliff hiding some infantry along those bushes to gain map view okay here we go delta trying to be annoying okay and then there was that therapy Kablooey. GG on that therapy. Did not destroy anything at all. Okay. So, Alligatora. Okay. Wasp now being reproduced. Another super container appearing right here, which I'm obviously not able to obtain. And I got like plenty of alligators here. Almost full command point HQ to raise. And he only has this for his navy. So, yeah. I'm gonna have to try my luck here and push. There you go. And I 
again, there was that Seraphine that's trying to help him out against uh, my alligators. And as we all know, a Seraphine can actually destroy uh, one or two alligators and still be alive. So yeah, it destroyed one now and used the passive to weaken the rest. And yeah, I mean, it's not really looking good. Yes, I won the naval engagement. However, I can't really destroy his base just yet for I am thinking that he's already spamming naval platforms or at this point at least I was thinking that he's making more platforms and by the time I get there they're gonna be completed and in addition there will be additional Vikings that will be popping out of those shipyards which prevents me from attacking I need more alligators to make it work okay so yep we're gonna have to try now forget it I'd rather stick to my advantage here and not lose units more than I should now going over here, okay, we're going to have to try and destroy that vehicle factory, delaying his Solaris uh, production. Now if you may have noticed, I actually used a porcupine, three dragonflies, and also a wasp and a salamander. Well, actually, my salamander, I think, is not there. Yep, it's here. So it's just dragonfly, wasp, and uh, porcupine. There you go. Now that Seraphim is in there, yes. However, my Salamander came in late. I actually tried to group them into one group. However, it's, well, I mean, the game sometimes doesn't follow your command. I don't know. Okay, Leviathan is now in production. I'm going to have to position my alligators here to, to cage him up and uh, not really give him a good vantage point on the ocean. Okay more um dragon fly here on my end more dragon okay trying to annihilate those infantry right here with my salamander with zero missile upgrade okay nothing really crazy here so far it's just me trying to be annoying with my salamander okay finally a super container that i can collect leviathan is out and now adding more supply center in a power plant which again further my advantage as my supply income every minute will be more per second per minute rather okay super container almost got like full command points here i got like both the wasp and the leviathan around there i saw that seraphim right about here okay, and here we go that is so not gonna fly Again, Seraphim is down. Okay. Third shipyard here. In the event that, well, my alligators are lost, I can quickly replace them by having more shipyards. Okay. Slowly building up that Dragonfly Wasp shenanigan. And, uh, yeah, I'm waiting for that Leviathan. Yes, the reason why I'm doing this is to, of course, attack him on the side uh, yeah, attack him on the side, on this side right here, where there is almost no defenses. And I did have a lot of my units into, or command points, into alligators. Now, this is just a small detachment, and the big hitters here are the Wasp, the Leviathan, and the Salamander. Okay, adding more supply centers yet again to further my advantage. Going HQ5 to get more command points. Okay, slowly trying to deny this guy here as my uh, salamander leads the way and annihilate any infantry, preventing the uh, preventing General Ahmed from seeing this detachment right here altogether. Okay, however, that Seraphim arrived just in time and again dealing a huge chunk of damage out of that Seraphim, but I don't think that I've actually managed to destroy it. Okay, and here we go. I'm gonna have to try and march here. Now, I've actually used the march, same speed march button. However, it did not work for some reason. I don't know why some buttons are not functioning properly. He's opting out for a vertex. Okay. And there you go. He has like three heroes here. The Cerberus, the Seraphim, and the Solaris. 
Okay, targeted the, uh, I targeted that Avia factory right around there. Two Vertex ain't gonna cut it because my Leviathan has max dot anti-ear. Even if you have four, as long as my Leviathan is in full health, you're not gonna scare me away. Okay, Seraphim and Cerberus is now down. Yep, that two, sir, uh, two Vertex will be destroyed. And now using the uh, nuclear on that annoying X Factory, or X Facility. Okay, now I tried to attack him here in order to somewhat, you know, while the Vikings are out of position. Um, I was just testing the waters there if those Vikings were out of position. But the thing is, he only moved the Poseidons at the bottom to act as an anti-ear. And so again, I would rather not lose the navy and reproduce it again. Instead, I'm going to go for a nuclear and save the resources for that same purpose. Meanwhile, my Leviathan around here is raining rampage, destroy the construction yard, and I'm going to have to destroy the rest of those uh, special vehicle factory that is being built. All the while, using a health recovery boost to speed up the... Uh, recovery of my leviathan as you guys can see the recovery the hp is recovering quite fast here even even while the leviathan or while the leviathan is attacking those buildings shredding them apart until that typhoon showed up which actually caused a little bit of damage now keep in mind that if you use a gold recovery boost you can't recover your units or heroes hp while it is taking damage you cannot okay that's why I have to try and get rid of things that do damage my Leviathan in order for me to heal him up with the boost itself that's why I immediately change to another boost. now if you see something here this portion of the map should be out of range or outside the range of those anti ear and so I'll place my Leviathan right over there before it actually dies off and then this is where I'll use that recovery boost to recover the HP and then at the same time destroy that special vehicle factory and that factory switch for a moment to the uh, gold coming attack because of the nuclear damage when I have to try and increase it and then went back to recovery boost to recover the HP of the Leviathan once again all the while producing that nuclear that he is actually unaware of with my armada of a fleet with alligators in a good formation against his viking if ever he wanted to go push and attack me now given this insight right here i was only i was actually thinking yeah i can go on land but that will prolong the battle or i can attack him but probably i cannot break it due to the narrow section of this map he will just simply spam platforms and hide those vikings and poseidons behind the platforms which again makes him survive so the only way i can do this is to go nuclear and attack the hell out of those buildings taking out all the anti-ear that he has and then moving for the kill with the leviathan that i have that is already in the base there you go again leviathan is slowly regenerating that hp because he's not taking damage okay here we go Nuclear is now on the way. Kablooey! And that Solaris just took a chunk of damage of that nuclear without a shield and still managed to live. Class 3? Okay. About 15 to 20 percent. No. 12 to 15 percent damage out of that Solaris. And that Solaris can't really do anything now, and I'm just going to have to try and do it. Okay, well, that's going to be all for today's uh, video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, smash the like button, and of course, subscribe if you're new to my channel. And of course, do check out my playlist. I do have guide videos, cinematic videos, and so on for you to binge on. Keep in mind that the guide playlist that I have only plays guide videos for your faction. Regardless of confed or resistance, I do have them both. All right, so yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Have yourself a great day and good luck with your battles. Let's go just try and wait for this to end.
Victory.